Well, good morning and welcome to Noah's Window. Today, we're looking at the middle of the three verses that I've been sharing at New Spring in our I Wish I Could Blank series. It's all about changes that need to be made in our lives, uh, what we would wish could be in our lives. And, and I've shared three verses, and each week I'm going back to those verses as we, as we bring the messages. Mary Alice, uh, I, I think one of the most important verses in our series is Proverbs 16.3 that says, Commit your actions to the Lord and your plans will succeed. Uh, as I've studied the scriptures about responsibilities of Christ followers, one of the things that I really find interesting is what we have the ability to do and what we trust God to do. Mm -hmm. If we trust God to do something that we have been commanded to do, then that's a non-starter because clearly, although it's important for us to trust God all the time, to trust God to do something that he holds us accountable for doing, uh, it's it just has no credibility in heaven. On the other hand, to believe that we can do something that only God can do is, uh, is, is of course not gonna work either because we're gonna put a lot of pressure on ourselves, we'll feel a sense of failure, and then we won't share that, that wonderful relationship that we have with God because we're not trusting Him, we're trusting ourselves to do what only He can do. So uh, I've gone a long way around to say whenever I look at the scriptures, I wanna be sure that I'm clear on what I can do, that I need to be doing, and what I need to trust God to do. So what I love about this particular verse is you have the difference between actions and plan. Mm -hmm. Plan here would be the comprehensive, it would be the end zone. It, it would be everything uh, that's part of a design coming to pass and working. What I draw from this verse is that's not something that we can manage because the future, as we talked about last week in New Spring, future's in God's hands. So I cannot make the plan work. It needs to be a successful plan, but I can't make it work. Actions, on the other hand, are those minute by minute, day by day choices that I do have control over. I think it's interesting too, that first word commit, because you know I think we all struggle with these things and maybe the desires in our heart uh, to do the right things, but then we struggle with our own failures or whatever. But talk to us a little bit about that word commit, because to me that brings the thought that comes to my mind when I see commitment is it's like a promise, a, a direction. You know, I'm I'm dedicated to go in this direction. It doesn't mean I'm going to be yeah, perfect. No, you just it. you just said the word. You, you nailed it when you said dedicate, because you think about think about how we dedicate today. I mean, we have baby dedication at New Spring several times a year. And so what happens is, you know, parents of small children, sometimes infants, will come to the church and there'll be a dedication service in which they will say, this child belongs to God. I mean, I'm dedicating this child to God. And I'm asking God to take care of this child. And I'm asking God to give me the ability to parent this child. So there's this commitment in which a parent is saying, I'm, it, this is God and me together, mm -hmm. and I'm dedicating mm -hmm. this child to the Lord. You know, on some occasions uh, in the past, I've been asked to dedicate a house. Mm -hmm. you know, That's, true. That's true. There would be new springers that would uh, buy a new home, get a new home. This isn't something I can do now. My schedule's gotten pretty full, but back in the day, you and I would go, mm -hmm. and uh, we, would, we, would have a, uh, we would meet with the new homeowners, and maybe their family. We'd take our Bible, and we would open the scriptures and we would dedicate that house to the Lord. And what a person is saying when they dedicate their house to the Lord is, this house belongs to the Lord. Mm -hmm. Whatever he wants to do here, that's it's his house, you know? Yeah. And we're asking for his protection in this home. Uh, we're not the only owners here. The Lord is the, Lord is the owner of everything. And we, we, want, we want this house to belong to the Lord. We, we want to seek his guidance and protection for what happens here. You know, we're going to raise our children here. Mm -hmm. So we're going to dedicate this house to the Lord. Now, there's nothing in the Bible that tells us we need to do that. But at the same time, it's certainly not unbiblical. So when we dedicate a child or a house or anything to the Lord, what we're saying is, Lord, I am trusting you. I need you. Uh, you and I are going to do this together, and I'm, I'm asking for your help in, in uh, raising this child or in living in this house. So, okay, <laughs> I've really gone the long way around mm -hmm. to answer your question. But let's just take, okay, let's take something really, really simple. Let's take uh, losing weight, because probably a lot of us are thinking about that right now, and it's mm -hmm. at least one of the things that went in the blank. Or get healthy, that's, right. either, that's way more important. Way, better, yeah. way more mm -hmm. important. So I, I need to get healthier. Okay, well, um, 
uh, a lot of us are a long way away from the goal. So the plan being successful is over our heads. But today's actions are within our grip. Uh, we can watch what we eat today. We can watch what we don't eat today. Uh, we can we can think about exercise and our ability to exercise. Now, that that is within our ability, and mm -hmm. and and that's how how plans ultimately are successful if our actions are consistent. But you know, those actions are not easy. Mm -hmm. I mean, you know, I mean, it it could be something else. It could be that someone's like, okay, I just want to make sure that I don't respond in anger to the people I love. Mm -hmm. That could be in someone's blank today. That's tough. It you is. know, there are just circumstances that make that tough from time to time. Well, that's where it's important to dedicate those actions to the Lord. And you look at which, whatever it is that you need to do, whether it's watch how you eat, or watch how you talk, or watch how you spend your money. I think it's important to say, Lord, <laughs> I'm starting this today, mm -hmm. or I started it yesterday, but I, I want your help in this and I'm going to dedicate this whole process. I'm going to dedicate my actions to you. You know, and it's also hard to do the wrong thing if we've dedicated our actions to the Lord, right? That's true. Although Satan will come after us. But you know, I think we need a strategic plan. If we were going to go on a diet, and you've talked about this so many times before, uh, and we've done this personally in our own life, and we're going to make a, a dramatic change, a shift in a new direction, we get provisions that will enhance our ability to do that and we remove as much as possible the distractions and the temptations that will take us away from that so it requires a little bit of strategic determination that kind of feeds into that uh, word commit to i think well i have a talk that's coming up this weekend that i think is probably if it's not the most important talk of the series it's definitely one of the most important talks and i'm going to be talking about habits mm -hmm. and you know if you mm -hmm. do the wrong thing you don't have to form a habit there's sort of a gravity that'll mm -hmm. pull you in the wrong direction but if you do the right thing, it's going to be uphill. And for me, there's something about doing the right thing that makes me think about God because God is all about right. I mean, God cares about how I eat. He cares about how I steward my body. He cares about what I say. So when I, when I think about doing the right thing, it, it's a natural following then to commit that to the Lord. Yesterday, we were talking about prayer being part of I can do all things through Christ which strengthens me and I think prayer is an important part of dedicating our actions to the Lord Absolutely. he will make the plan succeed if we will commit our actions to him and uh, ask for his help and again so many of those things that we need to see change in our life they're hard you know they're hard they're not easy and and perhaps we go into these things wondering if I'm going to be a, if I'm going to be successful well Maybe the missing element has been that part about dedicating our actions to the Lord. Mm. You know, today, Lord, it's going to be a challenge, but I'm going to dedicate my actions. I'm going to dedicate my words to you. I'm going to dedicate my eating schedule. I'm going to dedicate, uh, you know, my my attitudes toward people. Whatever goes in that blank, to dedicate it to the Lord. Absolutely, and my thinking, my thoughts. Yeah, my thoughts are just so important. Well, speaking of that, Mary Alice, we need prayer because this isn't going to happen by accident and, and it's, a, it's a challenge to do those things that are uphill. So why don't you pray for us today? Absolutely. Father, thank you so much for um, the promises that you've given to us to know that you're for us. And as we look at the things that we know we need to do in our life, the things that we know need to change in our life, um, that will honor you and please you and make us a, a better God follower, make us a better parent, a better, better grandparent, all the things. Father, make us healthier and stronger. And I, all these things we know will honor you. And because we know that, that you and I have the same goal as we're in partnership in this, I just thank you, Father, for that promise that you've given us. And I pray for each and every person who's watching or listening who has filled in that blank and they're struggling and already the evil one is trying to bring discouragement. I just pray even today that you would remind them how much you uh, can provide for them the, the means and the power and the strength um, to fulfill what you have planned for them and that you will bring the power and the strength and help us each one of us to commit our actions to you so that we can see a victory in all of these things for your glory and honor. And I just pray particularly for those that are uh, facing some illness or death in their family even this week I pray that you bring comfort and healing and all the things uh, God our steps father as we walk through this day and this week that um, you might um, 
prevent us from falling into the evil one's traps and and keep him from discouraging us, Father. And may we keep our eyes on you. And may you uh, provide for us the thoughts that we can think that will uh, please you and bring encouragement to our hearts. And we're going to give you all the glory and the praise for these things. And we ask all this in Jesus' name. Amen. Well, thanks for joining us on Noah's Window. We'll be back tomorrow for the Friday edition of Noah's Window, and we'll look at the third of these really, really powerful verses. See you then.